Hello everyone, today I thought we could do just a chill, chatty get ready with me. I just wanted to be real, catch up, kind of kick it old school in a way, and just chat and do our makeup. I feel like that hasn't happened for a second on the channel, so I hope you guys will enjoy that. I thought about doing a lot of other videos today, but I honestly, I'm just a little stressed out. Life as always is kind of crazy, <laughs> so I thought this would be a fun way to just chill out, but also just update you on some of that stuff. We're getting into holiday. Holiday, all of that. So I'm starting off with a bare face, but I'm using the primer from Tarte. It's that smoothing one. I'm taking the tiniest little bit and I'm gonna push that into every last one of my pores if I can. My gosh, I've really been trying to perfect my base routine lately, like find something that really works for me. And I feel like I have kind of, especially now that it's getting a little bit cooler out. So I thought I would use all these products that I've really been using for like a full face lately, um, especially when I am just needing to get out the door to do stuff. So this video is like an all in one, I feel like at the moment, it's kind of a current favorites. It's a get ready with me. It's kind of updates for the channel. <laughs> for foundation, I've been really enjoying the yummy skin from Danessa Myrick. I love this the second that I got it, but it is a little bit dewier. So throughout the day, it can get a little greasy, but I find again with that colder weather settling in, drier skin, it's working longer for me, especially combined with that primer. And also I feel like another issue I was really having with it was that it was really picking up on my dry patches, which don't get me wrong, still happens because I still have all this dryness around my mouth. It's so annoying, but I'm really taking some steps to work on it because it was like getting the worst it's ever gotten. And I don't really understand why. I've really been trying to just repair my skin barrier and I really haven't been using that many actives and I've seen improvements. So it's kind of hard. I want that smooth glowy skin, but honestly my skin's smoother, especially in this area <laughs> lately. So I'm just going with it. Anyway, I've really been enjoying this with a brush. I'm using this one from Sigma, which is the 3D HD Max Kabuki. I've said that like four times because I couldn't freaking say it. I love that I can just blend this in with a brush and I feel like it looks pretty dang good. So I'll stipple it where I need to, but enough about the makeup. It's not, <laughs> Chatty Get Ready With Me is not necessarily supposed to be about the makeup, but I hope you guys have been doing well. I feel like we're getting into full holiday, not only with like YouTube and makeup and all that type of stuff, but just, you know, with family and that type of stuff, which can just be a difficult time I feel like you guys know I love Christmas that's like been a big thing of my whole life I've always loved it and I still love Christmas but I will say I definitely have just more nuanced thoughts about just the holiday in general like it is a great time of year but I do understand the other feelings people have around the holidays and not just joy and it's not even that anything bad has necessarily happened I'm very lucky overall for that but I don't know if this is just what naturally happens as you get older but you know it's just the kind of ever-evolving nature of life I guess that things change and the way you think about things change and so that's just like a little bit different for me I don't know it's weird I'm saying this and it almost sounds like I'm like Christmas isn't as fun for me but I wouldn't say that's true and what's so interesting is I'm actually trying to allow myself to actually enjoy the holidays more like enjoying time with family and enjoying time with friends and not only working and not only pushing myself but I feel like all the times where I'm like I love Christmas so much I love the holidays so much uh that's when I was like kind of not doing as many holiday type activities then? I don't know, does that make sense? Anyway, I just feel like that mental load that happens, especially with family, and I love my family dearly, but it can still be hard. And I feel like I've been trying to traverse that as healthy as I can, which is not always easy. And I don't know if I'm always making the right choices on that, but I guess we're all just trying our best, aren't we? Okay, so that's the Danessa Myricks. I feel like it gives me just a light amount of foundation. I already feel like this get ready with me. It's like off the reel. So if I'm just blabbering on, you know, forgive me. That's the Danessa Myricks on. I feel like it just gives me a nice base overall. I don't know. I've really been enjoying it. I just feel like it's so easy. It's not perfect though. I don't think my skin looks perfect. I don't even think it looks perfect on my skin. And yet I've still really been enjoying it and reaching for it. So for bronzer, I'm going in with the Give Beauty Pick It Up, Heat and Up. I don't know. Cream contour and powder contour. This I've been testing out. I bought this because they're doing a Black Friday sale, which they might still be doing 50% off, which I thought was a really great deal actually. And I have wanted to try stuff, but like not at full price. Like 
I'm not trying this shit at full price. Sorry, 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 sorry. But I didn't really want to do that. But half off. Okay. <laughs> I can get done with that. I definitely want to give some products some tries. So I got the Duo and I do think it's really pretty. The only thing is these are very small pans to get your brush in. And one's a cream, obviously. One's a powder. And I like that they're both in the same compact. It's very you know, handy, but it is a little tedious, you know, to try to get your brush only in one and not the other. So there's that. But overall, color wise, the bronzer looks nice. And also, the formula on it is a little bit almost like a, a bronzer balm or like a gel cream bronzer. So I feel like it has a nice translucency to it and looks overall pretty natural on me. So I've been enjoying it overall. But really, what I've been loving is the blush duos, which we will get to. Really, what I've been focusing on with my makeup lately is just like, I want to look healthy. I want to look pretty I want to look put together usually a little less when it comes to foundation if I can just so it's easier to kind of keep up throughout the day as it kind of wears off it doesn't look weird or patchy kind of touching just slightly back on the holidays I know I've been kind of vague but um I just you know I just feel you if you're out there struggling with the holidays I just get it I just I get it <laughs> But there's also great things, don't get me wrong, and I really have been just trying to put in the work to make things the way I want them to as well. So yeah, anyway, you have to create your own magic sometimes, you know? That being said, I have really enjoyed having my tree up this year. I am glad to have so many ornaments despite the fact that I had to really start over basically last year. If you guys don't know, I, this sounds like a made up effing story, but it's not. Oh my gosh. Um, but all my ornaments that I've collected over years and years and years got stolen out of a storage unit that's at my uh, a complex. So yeah, I know. Why would someone steal ornaments? <laughs> don't know. I was very upset about it last year and it still makes me upset, don't get me wrong, but I definitely feel like my attitude on it is just kind of like, I don't know, what can you do? And uh, I feel like that's what I'm talking about with the holidays. So it's not even like this like sadness, it's just kind of like, well, <laughs> here we go, here we go. And I feel like that's just what it is, you know, you just got to Keep going. What are you gonna do? No reason to cry about it now. I mean, I get crying about it when it happened, but now I'm just kind of like, well, I guess we'll we'll rebuild if we want to. And even part of me is like, oh, I don't even need to do it as much because I'm like, it's more about memories, I guess, than anything. But for the holidays, when it comes to actually the channel, let me at least update you on that while we're here. I usually do vlogmas and i've thought long and hard about what i want to do this year and i've decided i don't want to do a strict vlogmas because i just don't think it'll be good for my mental health to be honest this year has been such an up and down um it's weird it's like i feel like when you start working on like understanding yourself and understanding certain things and uncovering trauma and working on that it's such an up and down kind of process and i also feel like in some ways i've been really stable and then in other ways i feel like there have been really intense highs and really intense lows so i just feel like when I'm trying to think of my more well-balanced, well-rounded life, I don't know if Vlogmas is gonna help me get there. I don't know if it's gonna help me get there. I think it's gonna dysregulate me to a point that I will need recovery for months after, and I don't wanna do that. I wanna be able to be here. I've been loving all the videos lately. I've been really loving creating and doing like more fun stuff, I guess, overall. Something a little bit more entertaining in general over here. So I wanna be able to keep doing that. That being said, that does not mean that there will not be a lot of videos because I have so many videos. I just don't even know how I'm gonna get them all done, to be honest. I probably could do a vlogmas here I am I just don't want the pressure of it you know I think that everyday upload and telling you guys I'm gonna do the everyday upload it just feels like that grind culture that might be a little toxic if people can do it don't get me wrong like good for you so happy you're so organized so happy you're able to prep in that way I love that so much but just for the videos I've been wanting to do they take a little bit more time they take a little bit more editing and I've been loving it I hope you guys have been too I feel like you have been so I just want to be able to create better videos and I just don't think that's going to happen in the confines of a video a day. I don't want to just put up 
you know, bad videos necessarily. So that being said, there will be basically a week of advent calendars. It's gonna kind of go back and forth between this channel and my fragrance channel. If you guys don't know, I have a fragrance channel and I have quite a few advent calendars. They're all kind of themed in different ways. So I'm very, very excited for that. And I hope you guys are too. I've just, I don't know. I'm so glad I did the advent calendars this year. I really was going back and forth on it. And it's one of the things that's brought me like the most joy and I know so many of you guys have been enjoying them, so I am so happy that that happened and I just like took the leap on it. But I also wanna know what kind of end of the year videos you guys wanna see. I have been thinking about doing a favorites video because I haven't done a favorites video and I don't know how long and we're getting to the end of the year. So I definitely wanna like round up my favorite products. I also wanna round up things that I haven't been enjoying. And I also know I wanna do some decluttering and especially if I can do it before I go home for the holidays, I'd really love it. So that's like what's really on the docket. I'm sure there will be some things in between here and there, but um, I feel like it should be pretty packed. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be pretty packed, at least on my end, editing all this shit out, I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, doing all of it is a lot. I will say, doing all of it is a lot. All right, let me show you these blushes from the Give line because these things are so pretty and if you're sleeping on them, again, for 50% off, I just don't know if you should. I think they're that good. This is the first one that I got, which is that kind of, you know, pink color that we've been seeing, but this one is different because it's not super cool. I feel like it has a little bit more warmth than some of the other ones, but these are blush duos. One of them is more shimmery and then one of them is more of like a matte. But what I love is like, that's not like insane pigment. They're buildable and they're easy to use, which I love. I love something a little bit sheer, but that's buildable. So I started with that one and my initial order from Give Beauty for Black Friday, I got this one, which is called Stars Aligned. That first one I showed you was Ex-Girlfriend. This one's more of like a neutral warm color. I think the color I'm gonna wear today, which I've really been loving, probably the, maybe the most, I don't know, it's hard to say. This is Lasting Love, I just think it's so pretty. And then this one's Crush On You, which is like a deeper berry kind of color. So um, I've just been loving these so much. I ended up going back because I just wanted to have as reference and also for myself, the other colors. So I definitely think if you're into a brighter blush, but again, they're just so wearable. I feel like they don't have to be super scary. These ones are really beautiful, especially two for $14. That's what they're coming out to with the half off. And I use like a big fluffy brush and I didn't even put a cream down, which I normally do, but I just have been going in with these powders because they're so pigmented. I feel like I'll do this one layer and then if I need to, I'll punch it up at the end, kind of match whatever eye look I've done. And I usually use the top shade, which has like that luminosity to it. So anyway, when it comes to videos, let me know what you wanna see. I have a list going for sure. So I know I have tons of videos going into the new year too, and I'm excited to not be looking at December as this kind of like sprint, you know what I mean? Like this intense sprint where I'm going to be just exhausted and so put out at the end of it. I wanna have the videos, I wanna work hard, I wanna play hard, I wanna do the holiday stuff and still have videos, but I think it's just like a different mindset around it, which is with a little bit more leniency and I'm excited where that will put me going into January and kind of the start of the year and not starting my year exhausted. And I know I'm talking specifically about YouTube, but I think like whatever job you're in or whatever kind of field you're in or whatever, I'm sure there are things you can relate to where it's just like, it's kind of this constant, let me just get to this time, let me just get to here and I'm trying to, not do that to myself as much as I possibly can. So that's kind of the update on Vlogmas. It feels so weird to not go into December doing Vlogmas. I've done it for so many years now, but I'm also really excited just to kind of see how it is. I can always do it again next year if I want to. I can always do like an upload every day, any time of the year. You know what I mean? If I'm really feeling that kind of thing. And I'm gonna be doing the advent calendar week also this month. So I feel like I still have some things that I'm like, girlfriend. It's still pretty similar, okay? <laughs> it's pretty similar. I hope you guys are doing okay though. I feel like I'm just talking and chatting. I don't even know where I'm at, what's going on. <laughs> I almost feel rusty or something, but I hope that you guys are doing well, doing your best to take care of yourself and have self love and compassion, especially again, this time of year. Another thing that's like about to happen, I'm about to leave for Vegas because there's another creators and friends trip coming up. It's just a holiday party in Vegas. So I'm really excited for that to see everyone and 
just kind of celebrate the holidays with people. I feel like I've really been enjoying just like connecting this year and I'm just excited to do it around the holidays. It's a really special thing that Simbri and Samantha have put together to create a place for creators to get together. So I'm very, very excited for that. And it's part of the reason I wanted to get this up because I'm like, I have videos that need some more intense editing and I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do them before I leave. So I wanted to just get this up and let you know videos are coming. Prepare for a few more advent calendar videos. And also I wanted to get some requests from you guys if you had anything specific you were really, really wanting. All right, those are eyebrows done. I've been really loving this iconic London. I've also been loving the Huda Beauty uh, gel that I got recently, but I've been going for a more natural look overall. It's sometimes hard because on camera, something full glam looks so good. But in real life, not that full glam doesn't look good in real life, it can for the right occasions for full glam, at least to me. You know, every day <laughs> when I'm just lounging around, full glam isn't necessarily what I want on my skin. So hopefully this look looks okay on camera as well. But I'm telling you in real life, I feel like I'm looking nice. I really love this kind of clean look. So right now I'm just powdering. I'm using the Huda Beauty loose powder. I've really been trying you guys to get on with the product powder but I just don't like it as much as this okay this is like the best I've had this for years and I still have this much left so this is definitely the winner out of the two for me I'm gonna come back to highlighter but let's do eyes now I've been loving a cream shadow I've been either using a stick I actually used one up I have like some makeup empties which I'm shocked absolutely shocked by um, but I'm gonna use this one from Merit again today this is the other one I've really been just gravitating to a lot lately it's just such an easy base to put on it really doesn't have a ton of shine or color it reminds me of like the potted version of the hourglass shadow sticks if you've tried those they're a very subtle shadow stick like if you're looking for something that's really in your face wham bam those are not the one for you but if you like a subtle sheen you want just the tiniest bit of per perfecting on your lids I really like those shadow sticks for that and I feel like this gives a similar effect and this was like a limited color in a set but I'm hoping that they'll bring out some other shades as well because again I've just really been enjoying it if I wanted like the cleanest look ever I could just put mascara on over this and I know it looks so boring on camera but in real life I feel like it just looks nice and put together and I've really just been <laughs> going for sometimes a really low-key look but we're gonna add a little bit more today I think I'm gonna go with this duochrome the Shantakai one I just love those special little single shadows you guys know this one is like a duochrome gold and pink shade and so it kind of works perfect on top of that color so I'm just gonna pat it on with my finger. And I love that it's duochrome because it just adds a little bit of fun, but it's not too much, especially because it's really just one shade. So I'm just tapping that over. And I love this baked shadow. It just is so easy to blend out with my fingers and doesn't have any like harsh edges. It's just beautiful. Simple yet still impactful. For my lower lash line, I am gonna put a little bit of a shadow stick on. This one's from Laura Mercier. It's called Moonlight Caviar, I wanna say. Let me look. It's just called Moonlight. It's a caviar stick, I think, is why I got confused. Some other updates, though, in my life. <laughs> it's just been crazy lately. I recently got food poisoning. Um, during the holiday weekend, which was such a bummer. I don't even know what did it. I'm assuming it was this salad I ate, which is so annoying. <laughs> but you know, nausea is one of those things. I was like, I woke up the next morning and I was like, man, something's off and I just couldn't place it. I was like, what is it? What is wrong with me? Why do I feel like this? And me and Sam are on a walk and I'm like walking around like, what is going on? I just do not feel good. And then it hits you and you're like, I'm nauseous. Oh my gosh, that's what's going on. I am nauseous right now. So for the rest of the day, I was not feeling well at all. And finally, you know, the moment happened. Finally, <laughs> the fireworks started, if you will. Um, and so that happened and I was like, Ugh, immediately, usually I feel so much better, you know, like, okay, we did it. It's happened. 
go body or doing your thing, but now we feel better, right? So I had a little bite, you know, I was excited, no. So I had to like completely abstain <laughs> from any type of food or drink. And finally, the next day I was feeling at least a little bit better. So it was just like a 24 hour thing, thank goodness. But you know, I don't know about you guys, and this is getting TMI, so just, you know, warning, <laughs> warning right now, guys. But when it comes to throwing up, it's such a violent act. It is so, I mean, the body's incredible in a lot of ways, but my goodness, it is such a like, almost like a vulnerable state that you're in. You have no control over your body and what's happening. And so um, it's also just a really um, taxing act. I know this about myself. Like anytime I do throw up, I feel like I am so sore afterward. Usually my tongue is really sore as well as like my chest and like my collarbones and stuff. But my whole upper body was so sore. I mean, don't get me wrong. There was a lot of retching going on. Okay. It was intense, probably the most intense in my adult life it's ever been. And so the next day and really the day after that, I've been so sore. Like it hurts to laugh. It hurts to like move in certain ways. It's crazy. Like all under my ribs, all of that. So yeah, I'm like, girl, you need some upper body. What's going on? This should not take you out like that. But man, it really gave me some soreness that I almost felt like I was like in a car crash, which speaking of, I tried to poke my eye out right now. That's like the makeup equivalent of a car crash right there. But I'm just so grateful to be feeling better. You know, it's always that thing when you're feeling ill, you're just like, man, I was feeling so good. I will never take for granted my health. It's one of those things that puts it in perspective for you. So I'm just grateful to be feeling better and that it was only 24 hours and wasn't something else. So. So happy for that, but definitely kind of threw a wrench into my plans, especially with the trip coming up. So that's part of the reason too, that it's just been a little bit more scattered over here. And with the holidays and family, like it's just been one thing on top of the other. On top of, speaking of car crashes, guys. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So I was still recovering from being sick and Sam was being so sweet to go grab a few things from the grocery store for me. And he unfortunately got in a crash. Luckily he's fine, the other person's fine. So like the things that matter, like anything that actually like matter matters is, is fine. Everything's good there. So I'm so grateful for that. That is genuinely the only thing that matters, but it's just <laughs> so unfortunate that the car is basically totaled. Luckily, Sam, again, was not hurt and it wasn't a ton of damage. Like it could have been worse, but with cars and stuff like that, it's like when they're totaled, it doesn't necessarily mean that they look like a crumpled up penny or something. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't mean, <laughs> What's a crumpled up penny look like? But you know what I mean? It doesn't mean that it looks like a ball of metal. Like that's not, oh, now your car is total. Like sometimes it doesn't look as bad, but the frame might be bent or it's just gonna cost more money than it's worth to fix it. And that's kind of what that means. So unfortunately the car is totaled and it sucks because, well, it's silver lining because we literally just paid it off literally like a couple months ago. So there's that to kind of deal with. And it was also in the midst of being sick and the holidays and everything. So it's just been kind of a lot over here, but I feel like I'm just keeping a positive attitude. It's like, this is what happens. Life happens all the time to all of us. You know what I mean? You can't escape it. And sometimes good shit in life is happening to you and baby, not saying you don't deserve it, but sometimes, you know, sometimes you don't deserve the bad shit. And sometimes you don't deserve all the awesome stuff either. And it's just, the way it goes, you know? So I'm just trying to have like a good attitude about it and you just have to kind of like move through it and keep going. Let me get a little tissue so we can clean that baby up. But yeah, I'm just trying to have the best attitude about it. It just is what it <laughs> is, oh my goodness. And I also just feel like in general, I'm just grateful that it isn't worse and also that hopefully there are some options. I have no idea what the car market is like. Our car was like from 2013, so it was getting a little bit older and I don't even know what like a new car is like. I feel like I get into cars and if they have a backup cam, I'm like, fancy? Oh, oh, you fancy, huh? <laughs> you know? So it'll be interesting to see what trying to find any type of car at a reasonable price is, especially in this market. Yikes, I don't think that's going to be super possible, but I guess we'll, we'll just see when we get there. I'm gonna add a little wing. I've been loving to add my little wings. And I'm using the brown from the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. That's like the brown I've been going for. 
Oh my gosh, this wing turned out way better. Like way better. What happened to this guy? Oh my. This one <laughs> took the day off. Adding a little bit of mascara just to kind of clean up the mascara that happened. I also do kind of want to add a little bit of depth on the outer corner. So I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona. This is the face palette and you guys convinced me to get this because so many of you are like, it's so good don't pass up on that thing so i did order it and you guys are right it's really really good and the shimmers that are in here i feel like when this came out maybe this was like the beginning of these kind of flakier really shimmery sparkly shimmers and they're just so stunning so okay i thought i was gonna go deeper but Actually, I don't think I want to. <laughs> I think I actually don't want to go deeper than that. I'm gonna add a little bit of liner onto my lower lash line, another Give Beauty item. I'm telling you, I've been using a lot of stuff from what I picked up because I wanted to test it out. But this is like a shimmery gray. It's called Thunderbolt. And again, I'm adding it so lightly. Oh, so lightly. Okay, let's add some highlighter. I'm going in with this. You guys know I was obsessed with this earlier this year. An old product from Too Faced. <laughs> this is the highlighter palette. Literally, we didn't deserve this thing. I think this thing is so good. <laughs> and it's so sad that it's like not available. It's totally not a thing. But there's this really pretty like wet look highlight in here because there's three different formulas in here. So I'm gonna use that on my cheekbones. I just think it's so pretty. I love a wet look highlight. Some can be super sparkly and this one definitely has sparkle, but I can be a little bit more loose with it, which is something I really like. And then I'll tap some on my nose. And then I've even been tapping some on my brow bone just to like make it look like it's dewy on my brow bone. And we gotta do the inner corner. All right, I'm gonna finish up lips. I still, I'm like doing this. I'm like, do I even wanna upload this? Do you guys even give a shit? Why am I doing this? But I'm gonna do a lip liner from Jones Road. This is the mauve one. I've been loving this lip liner. Just lip liner in general though, I really feel like it rounds out the lips. It's like it does its job. It just adds some fullness. I love it. And the lip product I picked, this is the Road Peptide Lip Tint, the new one, Jelly Bean. I bought this one when it came out. And this is like a light pink, but it has sparkle to it. And you know, I don't know. I have like a love-hate relationship with these things, to be honest. I don't know. We need to do an Instagram versus reality video for sure. Because as much as I do like these, I use them often. I do feel like they have their cons as well, okay? <laughs> they definitely do. So this one this is the first one I think with shimmer. And you can kind of feel the shimmer in it. I'm kind of shocked. It's not so annoying that I won't wear it, but it's definitely there. It's not only like a smooth feeling on my lips, you know? And then this one also has a little bit of a taste. Like it's kind of sweet. Again, not too sweet, but getting close, <laughs> getting close. But anyway, this is the final look, kind of my everyday look, to be honest, <laughs> something like this. I might pick a different eyeshadow to put on my lids or something, like not a dual chrome or not a warm tone, maybe a cool tone or something like that. And again, I might switch up the lip or the blush, but overall technique wise and kind of placement and all of that, it's definitely been more my style to do something like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed just hanging out and chatting with me. Wanted to just like let you in on what's going on in my world. Lately, what's happening over here and let you know kind of my plans for holiday So I'm just so grateful for you guys as always. I'm so glad you're here Thank you so much for all your support throughout the year. It's meant so much It's just it always blows me away, but um, I feel like this year 2023 has definitely been I don't know Do people say that every year? Like every year they live the next year is just like wow This is this year, but I really just feel like 2023 has been a year of coming into my own in different ways and just of learning and understanding. And I just appreciate that you're here with me and I'm sending so much love to you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.